While discussing the memory system in computer organization, we have seen that the memory system is slow compared to the processor. Also, we discussed the different ways by which we can have a faster memory system in order to cope up with the speed of the processor. And compared to the modern processors and the memory system, the IO system is very slow. Different IO devices have different speed, but most of them are very very slow. Consider a keyboard, even a fast type is type 10 characters per second. And within that second, the processor can execute million instructions. But most of the computations are I.O. bound, so we often need to transfer data to and from the I.O. And how to transfer this data without causing much overhead to the processor? Or how to manage the communication with I.O. without causing much overhead to the processor? There are three common modes of I.O. transfer. One is program driven I.O. then interrupt driven I.O. and direct memory access or DMA. In program driven I.O. the processor is completely involved in the I.O. operation. In interrupt driven I.O. we reduce the overhead to the processor and in direct memory access the processor is further relieved. First we shall discuss the program driven I.O. Suppose the processor is in the midst of execution of a program and it encountered an I.O. request. In program driven I.O., the processor takes the complete responsibility of this I.O. operation or the processor completely controls this I.O. operation by executing a program. The I.O. request may be either to read or to write or to control I.O. Suppose this I.O. request is read. Then the program flow is, the processor should issue a read command specifying the address of the corresponding I.O. device. But this I.O. device may or may not be ready for the data transfer. The corresponding status will be updated in its corresponding status register. Hence, the processor should read and check the status. Thus, processor should issue a read status command and should check the status. If there is an error, the corresponding measures will be taken. And if the device is not ready, then the processor should keep on checking the status register periodically. When the device is ready, the word will be read from the I.O. and will be written to the memory. And it will be continued if further words are to be read. So here we can see when the processor controls the I.O. operation by executing a program, it leads to the wastage of a lot of CPU cycles. See if the device is not ready, the processor is keep on checking, keeping on checking the status, hence there is busy waiting and a total waste of processor time. So even though this is a simple method with a little hardware support, due to busy waiting and the wastage of processor time, this method is not much preferred, hence we go for interrupt driven I.O.